what's up grind army this is just going to be a short video to introduce you guys to the grind machine the grind bike it's a custom e-bike that i built myself um, you can find this brand is sold under several different names one of them is called the mac fox one of them is called the swiss zip and one of them is called the hurley mini swell We got a 3,000 watt minimum, 5,000 watt maximum motor capable of producing speeds of up to 59 miles per hour. I've had this bike up to 59 miles per hour. Here I have a vintage BMX bike plate, which I use to hide the controller. This controller is a 80 amp controller and it came with the 3,000 watt motor. You see this little wire here, it's a wire that I use to hook up a 12 volt battery to the custom light that I put in the front, which I'll show you in a minute. You can see this beautiful side view here, checking out the bike. You can see the, this headlight doesn't come with the bike. This headlight came off of a Super 73. We have a 3000 watt battery here. It's a 20 amp hour battery. Um, it gives me a range of about 40 miles to 50 miles of range. Here again, you can see the controller and the wires. I didn't tuck them in. When I bolted on my 3000 watt motor, I removed the chain and also the derailleur because I like the sleek look. I don't like bikes that have chains on them. Chains, chains are just a point of failure and they make a lot of noise. So I removed it. I love the sleek look without the chain, without the derailleur. And so that's what I went for. There you have it. The grind bike all the links to the parts are in the description there all in cost under two thousand dollars i'm going to put a price list up here now you can see the bike itself was 9.99 you have the motors here the motor cost me 750 you have the battery which also cost me 750 so you have the battery 750 you have the motor 750 you have the bike for $9.99 or $1,000, you put that all together, you come up with, uh, come up with $2,500. And oh, I can hear it now. I thought you said it was going to be under $2,000. Well, I forgot to tell you that the original battery that came with this bike, I end up selling that for $400. That battery is easy sellable because that battery fits on the Swift Zip. That battery fits on the Hurley Swell. That battery fits on the on the Mac Fox bike also. So there's high demand for that battery. So I sold that battery and the charger for $400. I sold the 500 watt motor that came with the bike for 300. So that's $700 I've made off the parts that I sold on the old bike. And so that's 700 that I've made. So you take that 700 away from the 2,500 that I spent on my bike and you have $1,800, which is well up under $2,000. I wanted the ability to ride in the group rides and keep up with the other bikes, if not pass them. And I also wanted a bike that I could ride here at the beach without being harassed by the police. You know, the Surrons look too much like a motorcycle, plus they're expensive. The Super 73s are expensive. And many of my friends that have Super 73s, they go out and buy them and then they end up upgrading to a 72 volt system and they've already spent 3000 on the bike. Then they have to spend another $1,500 on the 72 volt system. So I decided I didn't want to go that route. That's it. I just wanted to make a quick video to thank everybody for grinding with me and imparting. I want to say in life, whatever you do, may the grind be with you and may you be with the grind.